Hello there, I'm Sebi from Holotech Studios and in this video I will teach you how to add customization options to your avatars. Customization options are parameters set by you that users can modify in the Animes app. Adding customization options to your avatar will allow users to alter its look by changing the color of the avatar's textures, making parts of the avatar bigger or smaller, and adding props to the avatar. Customization options are very important since most users want the ability to modify the avatars to create something unique, so you should seriously consider including them when you design and build your avatars. For more information on customization options, go to animes.us slash manual and click on the editor user manual section. Click the link on the left side of the screen for the main panel section and scroll down to customization options. Today, we are going to be adding customization options to our sample avatar, the frog. If you'd like to follow along, make sure you've downloaded the sample assets from our website and successfully imported the frog avatar into the editor. If you haven't done that yet, download the assets and follow the steps outlined in the how to import a 3D avatar section of our documentation or watch our video tutorial. Links to both the documentation and the walkthrough are in the description below. Now, let's get started. Let's change the avatars icon first of all, open the resources folder and then the avatars folder. You will find the file named icon underscore avatar name .png, which was automatically created by the editor at import. You can go ahead and use any image editing software to create your very own custom icon. It has to be square, respect the naming convention of icon underscore avatar name, and use the .png image format in order for the mobile app to detect it properly. Once you're done creating your image, simply drag the file into the avatars folder and the animes editor will detect the changes made and will ask you to re-import. Go ahead and click yes. To see the change, go to the Assets menu and select Load Avatar. Then, hit the Refresh button, search and select Avatar Frog Test, and bingo, here's your new avatar icon. Now onto the avatar's name. In the editor panel on the right, go ahead and type in whatever name you'd like your avatar to have in the Friendly Name field. We recommend that you use legible names as opposed to random letters and numbers. That said, you can use any alphabet and special characters, so don't be afraid to get creative with it. Next, let's change the avatar's description. In the editor panel, write the desired description in the description field. It can be the avatar's backstory you imagined, technical details, or you can simply leave it blank. Don't forget to right-click the avatar's name in the hierarchy panel and select Save Item when you are done with the changes. If you exit the Animates Editor without saving, all your work will be lost. You can see the avatar's description in the mobile app by going to the Avatar Gallery, selecting your avatar, and tapping the Info button. Let's also frame our avatar real quick. Again, go to the editor panel on the right, Scroll down and click the Item Camera Settings header to expand it. Here you can set the wideness of the camera's view angle by changing the values for field of view on Follow Camera. To preview the FOV as in the iOS app, go to View in the top menu bar, select Aspect Ratio and pick 9 by 16. We set the FOV to 30 for this particular avatar, but you can play around with it and see what you like best. When you're happy with the result, go ahead and save your work again by right-clicking the avatar's name in the hierarchy panel and selecting Save Item. In doing so, these settings will be kept for the next time you load this avatar. Time to set all the customization parameters. First, click on the avatar's name in the hierarchy panel on the left. In the editor panel on the right then, go ahead and click the customization options header and select add new customization option. The customization selector window will appear, which allows you to choose which type of customization you want to add. Let's start by adding a color customization, which will allow users to change the color of different parts of our avatar. Let's click Color Customization and hit OK. A new option called Color Customization will appear in the Editor panel. Scroll down to it and click the header to expand it. You'll see a number of parameters such as Name, Description and Customization tag. Now we are going to assign a texture to the Color Customization. First, we will assign a texture to the Color Mask. The Color Mask allows you to assign multiple colors to one object using a single mask. Click on the Color Mask box and assign the texture named avatar frog test underscore body underscore cm2. Next, we will assign the customized base texture. The base texture lies underneath the color mask. Click on the customized base texture box and assign the texture named avatar frog test underscore body underscore cstm. Now we must select the target material. This determines which one of the avatar's materials will the color customization apply to. Click on the target material box and select the body material. Now we need to add channel masks to the color customization. Our color mask was crafted with three color channels, red, green, and blue. So we need to add each color channel to the customization option. This will allow us to customize the color of three different parts of the avatar, one for each color channel. Click on the add channel mask button and select the red channel from the channel target pop-up, then hit OK. 
great, we just added the red channel mask to the customization option. Now we need to assign the color and the customization tag to the channel mask. First, click on the color box and select any color you like from the color picker. Your color selection won't appear on the avatar until we preview and debug our customizations later in this video. Next, click the drop down menu for customization tag. Customization tags help the anime's mobile app group customizations into user friendly tags like eyes, hair, and skin so that the users know what they are customizing. Without a tag, animes will not be able to recognize or apply custom colors to your material. Since we are customizing the avatar's body, select the skin tag for this color channel. Now we will repeat the process for the green channel mask. Scroll up and click add channel mask again, this time selecting green channel as the channel target, and then hit OK. Next, click the color box again and select the color from the color picker and set the customization tag for the green channel to skin. Finally, we will repeat the process one more time for the blue channel mask. Scroll up and click the add channel mask again, this time selecting blue channel as the channel target and hit OK. Click on the color box again and select the color from the color picker. And once more, set the customization tag for the blue channel to skin. Once this is complete, you have successfully configured your color customization. When you export this avatar to the iOS app, users will be able to customize the color of the applied textures on the body material. Now let's add an animation customization option. Animation customization options utilize your avatar scaling animations to allow users to change the size of different parts of the avatar. Let's start by adding a head size customization option. In the editor panel on the right, scroll to the customization option section and click add new customization option. From the customization selector window, select animation customization and click OK. A new section will appear in the editor panel called animation customization. Click the header to expand it, then click the browse button next to add custom animation. This will allow us to select which animation we want to utilize for this customization option. Go ahead and navigate to the avatar source folder. Note, the location and name of the source folder will vary depending on where you saved and what you named the folder. The default name of the folder is avatar frog test. The source folder gets copied entirely in the assets folder, path holotech animates editor data assets. So you can use this folder to find sources faster. Since we are creating a customization to change the head size, we want to select the animation called modify proportions underscore head and hit open. Next, we want to set the middle point of our scaling animation so that users can scale the head up and down in equal amounts. Click the Compute Default Value button in the Editor panel. The Compute Default Value button evaluates the animation in 1000 samples and checks each sample pose to the default pose, trying to find an exact match. Once found, it automatically fills the value text box with the percentage of the animation where it matches the default pose. Our next step is to enable the use of props on our avatar. The frog avatar has been built with prop bones that allow users to attach props like hats, glasses, and mustaches to the avatar in our iOS app. In the customization options section of the editor panel, click detect available attachment slots to set up the prop customization. Clicking this button will automatically detect the avatar's prop bones and create an attachment system for each bone. You'll see three sections in the editor panel, each called prop customization. Expand the first prop customization panel. Now we need to set a customization tag for each prop customization. This determines what type of prop can attach to each prop bone. Each tag you apply must match its bone. Hat tags need to be applied to the hat bone, glasses tags need to be applied to the glasses bone, etc. You can ensure that you are matching the customization tag to the appropriate bone by looking at each prop customization's bone name in the editor panel. For our sample avatar, bib hat underscore prop is the name of the hat bone, so you should apply the hat tag to that bone. Then, expand the second prop customization section and set the customization tag to facial underscore hair. Finally, expand the third prop customization section and set the customization tag to glasses. Now you have successfully set up your prop customizations, allowing users to attach fun props to your avatar. Avatars that can use props are very popular with users and allow for the creation of a much wider variety of videos and interaction than avatars without props. We recommend that your avatars are always configured with prop customizations. Now it's time to check our customizations. Click the Tools button in the top menu bar and select Customization Debugger. This lets you test your customizations in the editor before exporting them to the mobile app. Be sure to thoroughly check your customizations before exporting. First, make sure the Enable Customization box is checked. This will allow you to preview the customizations you are going to test. When you check the Enable Customizations box, you will see the color selections for each color channel previewed on the avatar. Navigate to the Color tab of the Customization Debugger and change the skin color values for the red, green, and blue tags. You should see the frog's color update in real time. 
You can permanently save any color customization as the avatar's new default color by clicking the save button or revert to your original color by clicking the revert button. Now we'll test the animation customization that allows us to change the size of the frog's head. Click on the animation tab of the customization debugger. To change the size of the avatar's head, you can change the numeric value listed under the modify proportions underscore head parameter or simply left click and hold on the animation tab and slide the mouse left or right. You should see the frog's head get bigger as you slide to the right and smaller as you slide to the left. You can save any changes you make with this customization and set it as the avatar's default state by clicking the save button or revert to the original size with the revert button. Finally, let's test our prop customizations. Click on the attachments tab of the customization debugger and add a hat, mustache and glasses to your avatar. Make sure that the props attach to the correct part of the avatar's face. Don't worry if the props are not perfectly sized. Each prop is built with an animation customization that allows users to scale the props to fit the avatars. Note that any changes you make to the avatar in the customization debugger will be deleted unless you click save in the appropriate panel of the customization debugger. Now that you've finished adding customizations to your avatar, we need to save our work. Right click the avatar's name in the hierarchy panel and select save item. If you do not do this, none of your customizations will be saved after you close the editor or export the avatar to the iOS app. Always remember to save your work. And with that, our avatar is now complete. Congrats on learning how to add, configure and test customization options throughout the Animes editor. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them on our Discord server or email us at support at All the best from everybody here at Holotech Studios.